Good afternoon, y'all. It is Leo, and I'm back on the channel with another In the Budget Challenge. Uh, this week's check was 161 with three cents. We're going to spend it all today at three different thrift stores, and we're going to try to keep within budget. We did okay last time, went slightly over, but we're going to try to keep within budget today because we have a lot of inventory. We got to keep up with that. I can't stay out at thrift stores because I have too much fun in there. All right, let's see what we're going to do today. Alrighty, y'all, we're in the Texas Thrift. It is busy. We accidentally came on a half off day, which helps our budget a lot. Found a couple of goodies here and there. We're gonna show them off. Shoes, which are gonna come in handy. A lot of good things that we're gonna show off. And a nice little dress that we're gonna test out for Rosie's little bit. Bada bing, bada boom. Right, we got bags. A few bags, it was half off. We ended up paying $80. Something says we ended up paying Okay, we spent 80 bucks over there on half off day. I don't think it's half off day at my mom and pop thrift. And uh, I still gotta subtract some stuff out of the Texas thrift haul because we got some stuff from for Rosie. Okay. Okay, let's find some goodies. Let's find some goodies. Let's see. Alrighty, y'all. Here's a little scenery. I looked through all of the uh, board shorts, not much today. And I looked through the khakis. I'm looking through different shorts. Oh, we ran into, what is this? Some Kohl's. Two of them. The only thing is, they are well worn. They have stains. And unfortunately, I may have to leave them behind. Seven bucks a piece is a little steep. But we did run into some these AFCOs might be pretty good. We gotta double check them at seven bucks. And they're vintage, it looks like. Made in USA. Okay, so we're scanning through the higher priced items. You know, a couple of Peter Millar's, Vineyard Vines, $16. Pricey stuff, right? Well, this one's very, very tempting. I don't think I'm gonna go for it. We have a Johnny O. Johnny O. All over print at 14. Check this out. Brand new with tags. I think we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, so we found these uh, pillow pets, glow pets, both brand new. We're gonna search those up. And then I found this one a Barbie Extra Fly at $15. Steep, steep, steep. But guess what? It's the second one. We can just do a Barbie bundle. It's also steep. It's about 25 bucks for the both of these, but they're both brand new. Very tempting. They don't sell often, often, but they do sell fairly well if you hold on to them at a good price. Very tempting here. Okay, so we're down the aisles. Pretty much done. Rosie's doing her rounds. She's got a lot to look at. So we found these Afco shorts at seven bucks, a little steep, but they'll do good at 20 plus. Ooh, we're gonna get the Johnny O polo only because it's new. That should do at least 40 to 60 dollars. Got some Noah's Ark uh, baby stuff, some vintage stickers, and a latch and hook kit for six dollars. And that should do about 20 to 40 dollars. We will see. Okay, so we are swapping out these club rides that I almost thought of getting. Not really worth it in my opinion at eight dollars. I want to put that eight dollars and invest it into here. Yuck! At fourteen dollars, Johnny O size large, perfect size, perfect print. These type of drink prints do really well. There's nothing wrong with it, and it's brand new with tags. This should be a solid fifty dollars, and it could sell potentially fast. We're gonna do another test here and list it tonight, and we will track how fast it will sell. Today is the 29th, so we will see how that goes. Okay, we are going down the knickknacks and glassware aisle. Um, nothing crazy, but a few weird things. You know, these Boyd Bears, I would say stay away. Take forever to sell, don't sell for much. Look at this guy, a K-State baby. That's pretty cool. So I'm still debating on the Barbies, and uh, I think it's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to buy both Barbies just to make it a good bundle. I think we can get up to 75 bucks altogether, but uh, we will see. Whoa, this is weird. Unique. Huh. No signature. Hmm. I've been uh, trying to get baby glass marked off of my uh, bucket list, finding things, but I have never found a baby glass. They seem to sell pretty well. Uh, 
got no luck here in my stores. Okay, in the bag section, not finding much until we found this guy. First time finding this brand. Pretty cool brand. Very nice color and everything. But this one at $20, I'm going to have to pass. It's a Mountain Smith tour. This should do about 60, 40 to 60, but it's just not worth it for me. Okay, so I went around the whole store and thought about this Thule bag at $15. It's a little beat up. It'll probably get us 60 bucks. Okay, so after some good thinking, I passed on the Thule bag. It may still be there when the price goes down. Okay, so we got the bags here. Did not, did not pick up the Barbies. They were a little pricey, very tempting though. And we did pick up the Johnny O for $14, but it's gonna be a good flip. It's a 50 to $60. We will see tonight. Okay, so we are back home. And here's the items. We have two different stores that we went to. We didn't get to make it to the third one. And all in all, we spent $164. But we did stay within budget because a good little chunk of this is actually Rosie's inventory. Which means that we are going to stay within budget this week. And we're not going to be spending over $161 in terms of going to these thrift stores. I did also today make a $100 uh, purchase off some video games but as we know that's always going to be a good return and that does not apply to this little challenge so let's go ahead and see what our budget was and now i'm going to go ahead and add the 164 and subtract all of the things that are actually part of rosie's inventory and this will be the total here's the things we picked up at texas thrift a uh, nice little variety nothing crazy but everything was half off today which i was not expecting so that definitely helped our budget we have these Tiva men's shoes. These should do pretty all right. We have some Keen shoes. I would have not paid up on these, but at half off, yeah, that, that works. They're in good condition. We got these Kuru. Um, here's the brand right here, Kuru. Uh, these should do pretty all right. They're in decent condition. And we got them for $7.50. Got some Allen Edmonds in uh, good condition, the Nashua. And uh, they were half off, so they were only $6.00. 650 and uh, yeah the condition's really nice which helped uh picking them up then i love picking up hats so we got this vintage mickey hat uh, and this one should do pretty all right it was only uh 250 and uh, we got this random one it looks really nice and for a dollar i think it's worth a shot this one you can be on the lookout for sometimes uh, it just really depends on design but this is a yankee candle a uh, little lamp uh shade and it's uh, made out of ceramic or whatever this one's really nice i gotta do some research but if this one does not sell this is actually the type of stuff my mom likes so this would work out uh, just to keep it's really cool though then of course we got some vintage camo it's a vintage shirt real tree at um i think it's like was that 250 and uh really nice fit this should do pretty good we have this levi's denim shirt it's got this embroidery all over the collar and the cuffs. This should do pretty all right. It was only $5. This Peter Millar I was on the fence about. When we get home, this is what I found. And uh, even though it was only $2, I'm still going to lose here. Um, it has a big hole on the back of the shirt, which is super random. I was not paying attention because I do not like half-off days. So that's a shame. But maybe I can get a dollar at the garage sale. Or I'll just donate it. We got a Walls uh, camo vest. This should do pretty okay. And uh, yeah, I just like picking up camel at half off. Why not, right? This is awesome right here. This vintage fabric, uh, it's a hockey vintage fabric, kind of quilted and uh, half off. Why not, right? This should do really good. Probably get like 20 bucks right there. We got vintage 90, 1995 uh, Barbie uh, fabric for a dollar. Yeah, uh, it's a no brainer. This one should do about 15 plus. We got this one, this one is from the let me see right here. It is from 1978, it says. And it's a baby sleeping bag. This should do okay. My baby stuff does pretty good. This is the type of stuff I would hold on to in case it didn't sell. But I don't want to be a hoarder, of course. So I do need to sell this and not actually hold on to it. But it is very nice, very cute. If you guys do like any kind of vintage baby items, we have tons of them. And I love selling them because they're easy to ship. And it's just great to send them to a new home to people that will appreciate them. So I did want to show you one of Rosie's pickups. As you can see, this shimmery dress right here. 
Nice, pretty little dress stood out to her. She says, what is this? This is cool. We do some comp checking. And uh, according to comps, these can get 30 to $80. They're prom dresses from back in the day, 80s and 90s. And uh, we bought it. We bought it because it was half off. And she wants to experiment. So we're going to see how much this one can fetch her. I will update you guys on that eventually once we get that going. But uh, very cool, you know, something that just stood out. We searched it up and what do you know? It sells. So this is what we picked up at the other thrift store. Nothing crazy, but maybe some bread and butter stuff. And uh, definitely just some cool things. So we got this Lululemon jacket for only $3, which is really awesome. It's my size and everything, but I am not gonna keep it. I'm gonna stay far, far away from that. I have too many items in my closet. And then right here we have this awesome, what is this, a hook and latch, I believe, kit. Yeah, hook, a latch hook kit, and these do pretty good. It just depends on pattern. This one, since it's a German Shepherd, when it's you know has to do with pets, these are better pickups. This one should do 30 plus. We will see. Brand new. It's just a little uh, you know cosmetically damaged. That should do okay. Got some vintage stickers because I love to pick up vintage stickers. They do pretty okay. And then I got here in these clothes. I got a bunch of shorts. I got some Afcos. Um, these shorts do pretty okay. Should get about 20 bucks for those. Some Travis Matthews, just about the same. These with this patchwork do pretty good and they're Penguin brand, which helps. At $4, they should do at least $15 to $22 there. I got these Pranas. Uh, I did not search these up, so we'll see the comps right here. But at $3, I thought they were worth it. They're like a Capri, a knee type of short for women. I got this Kansas City Royals hat all over uh, embroidery. And uh, at $3, I thought it was worth it. And then I got, of course, a nice little untuck it shirt just to finish off. And uh, this one's a good size, size medium. And uh, it should do okay. At $7, a little steep, but I couldn't leave it behind. It's in great condition. That should be an easy $20 to $25. So, yep, that's all of our pickups today, y'all. We got rosy stuff over here. And, uh, yeah, everything came out pretty okay. We stayed within budget, which is very important for these videos. And uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. Next week's budget might be a little bit less because I've been late to work a little more often. So we'll see how we can do with that type of budget. All right. And uh, we're going to go to the flea market tomorrow. So that should be fun. If you guys do enjoy these type of videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, leave a like or a comment down in this video. And uh, yeah, we're going to be making a lot more of these videos. These hauls are fun to do little budget videos. And eventually we're going to be getting back to whatnot. So if you want to follow our whatnot and pick up one of these items for a good price, you never know, uh, go ahead and follow at Mr. Rusty and uh, we'll be keeping it updated pretty soon and we'll see what we can do with all that because we have a ton, a ton of items to get listed and we may have to just do some liquidation on whatnot. So thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you later.